nine times out of ten, you've probably played a lot of Mario games. You probably went through a lot of first levels. But every single time you play a new game, there is always something new. No pun intended. But a new power-up. You probably never really thought about it, but why do you suddenly become a master at using this new power-up if you never played this level before or this game? Well, we're going to talk about that here on Design Strat. Design Strat is a video series on Mario level design. And in this first episode, we'll be talking about how Acorn Planes 1 teaches you about the intricacies of the Flying Squirrel power-up. Let's-a go! Let's -a go! And so, to get started, we have to talk about this adorable little guy. This creature is called a Waddlewing. It's a basic enemy, just like the Goomba in this game. Probably reasons why they both appear in the first level, but the difference between the two enemies is that the Goomba walks to the left, and when they bump into something, they go the other way. Now, the Waddlewings are more complex. They skip to the left, and when they get to the ledge, they glide. While gliding, if they touch the wall, they cling to it for a second, and then they glide into the opposite direction. And this complexity of the adorable little guys are what the Flying Squirrel power-up is about. It's about gliding and clinging to walls. Now, since we established that, let's look at the beginning of the level. Soon as you start, you look into the horizon, and you see a Waddlewing carrying an acorn mushroom. And you know, he's skipping slowly, you know, having a good time and everything. He got an acorn mushroom in his grubby little hands and trying to take it to where he lives. So, looking at this in your head, it visually teaches you what the acorn suit does without you even touching the power up yet. Now, if you kill the innocent cute animal, you evil, evil bastard, you get the power up and imitate what you saw already and you glide. Or if you don't glide, these coins will guide you into gliding anyway to get this big coin. Initially, you think you have to get the power up to get the big coin, but a pro would use this enemy to get it or some advanced jumping maneuvers to get it. After you do this, you go through the stage testing the ability. Maybe you get hurt a couple times and get the power up back, you know, because this is an easy level, it's the first level. But throughout the stage, you watch the water wings and see them cling to walls. Maybe in the level you cling to a wall by accident, but now you know how to cling. So far what we know is that Waddlewings teach us how to use the basic mechanics of the Flying Squirrel ability, while coins guide us to using the abilities, and so the whole level is trying to help us learn the different abilities of the suit. Now with this in mind, the level will teach you one more ability that the Flying Squirrel suit has. When you get through the level, you'll see these coins here. Now these coins are basically in the same range they were in for the Bitcoin, but you won't reach the area you want to reach by just gliding through these coins. So now you have to find out what to do here. So you'll glide and learn that when you press the trigger button, it'll boost you up. You get up here and you go on a pipe and it's like a final gauntlet of everything you learned throughout the level. You glide dodging all the water wings as well as following the coins. This is all the stuff you've been learning throughout the whole entire level. Once you're finished and require the big coin, now you glide through these coins for an easy top of the goal pole finish. Oh yeah, Mario time. Good job, you finished the level and you know how to use the flying squirrel ability. Now, if you didn't know how to do it, you learned it from this video. If you wanna see more videos like this, Subscribe and comment. What level do you want me to tackle next? All right guys before I go remember it's the thought that counts. See you next time